Hi everyone, welcome to my English. This is Hira and today we will be discussing academic writing task 1 map based questions. So in this session we will be covering how to analyze map based question. What is the vocabulary that you should be using for map based question? What is the structure that you should be following when it is a map given to you? And we'll also solve one exercise together. Let's get started with today's lesson. First is how do you analyze the maps? So there are different kinds of map based questions. The first is you will be provided with a present day map. This is rarely asked as it requires only simple present tense to explain and usually no comparisons are possible. The next one is past and the present. So there will be two maps and it is the most common one. You'll have to use past and present tenses since the changes are man-made processes. Passive voice can be used. So this was done by and all that, right? So you are able to use some good lexical resource and good grammatical range because you're using passive voice. Then we have present and future. This one is usually about the development of a town or a city and present tense and Future tense are usually used for the explanation of this sort of map based question and almost the same vocabulary can be used for all the different type of map based question. Then we have the map that will tell you about the stages of development. So in this case, you will have to rely mostly on past tense as you describe the milestones or the stages of development. Maps usually mostly deal with changes that happened in a place over the given period of time. This is map based vocabulary. So you should know the prepositions of place and direction. Directional words like towards, leading to and place is all into, before, after, between and so on. Then changes in the map. Changes in the map means was there any expansion done? And for expansion, you can use words like enlarged, extended. So enlargement, extension. So use the noun and the verb form accordingly. These are just the verb forms that I've written over here. Expanded, developed, made bigger. For removal, you can use demolish, knock down, pull down, torn down. And in case of trees, you can say cut down. If tree is added, then you can say plantation of trees or trees were planted or forests were planted. If there is another addition like a building or some kind of facility that was opened, so you can say built, constructed, erected, introduced, added, opened, etc. If something is changed from something to something, then you can say converted, redeveloped, replaced, renovated, modernized, etc. Now let's take a look at map based question. The question is, below is the map of the city of Bradfield. City planners have decided to build a new shopping mall for the area. So this is the area and these are the two shopping sites which have been proposed by the planners S1 and S2. So S1 and S2 have been proposed. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons wherever relevant. It is simple when you have two maps given to you, right? So you can say that this was there, this wasn't there or this was changed. But when it comes to a single map, then it becomes slightly difficult to summarize and give the information properly. So how you're going to go about it is the first sentence is going to be the paraphrased version of the question. So how you're going to paraphrase is you have to come up with new words. So use the key that I told you before. The given map illustrates or compares plans for two possible sides. Okay, some words cannot be changed, but you can add an adjective. So two possible sides or two probable sites for a shopping mall in the city of Bradfield. Now you need to write the overview. Now how you write the overview is you can take a look at where are these sites located? So as you see, this S1, S1 site is located in the north of the map. And this is more towards the south and in the eastern part. So maybe you can say that this is in the south and this is in the north, right? Okay, then you come to the detailed para. Now here in these two paragraphs, this is what you're going to be making comparisons and contrast. Now let's take a look at the other things that are there. This is... This is housing estate. This is the golf course and park. This is the city center. This blue line is a river and this bold line is a road and this line is a railway track. There are different ways of comparison also. One is 
you can compare with respect to two things in one para and two things in the other para or you can talk about s1 in one para and s2 in the second para right so let's do it the latter way when the shopping mall is built in this s1 location it is near this it is near to the housing estate and city center right it is also well connected with road transport and railways and a water body as well so this is what you can say but it is quite far from the industrial estate now let's look at s2 s2 is again well connected with uh, roadways and railways but the water body is quite far and it is also very far from the housing estate but you will not say that let's build the shopping complex in S1. You are not going to provide your own opinion about it. You are simply going to analyze what is there in the question. No assumptions. It has to be an objective summarization of what you see. Now let's take a look at the answer, the probable answer that can be. The map illustrates plans for two possible sites for a shopping mall in the city of Bradford. It can be seen that the two sites under consideration are in the north and the southeast of the town. The first possible site for the shopping mall S1 is just the north of the city center above the railway line which runs from the southeast so uh, you can talk about the railway line also which runs from the southeast to the northwest okay so southeast to the northwest if it is built here it will be next to a large housing estate thus providing easy access to those living on the estate and in the city center it will also be next to the river which runs through the town the site in the southeast s2 is again just by the railway line and fairly close to the city center but it is near to an industrial estate rather than the housing as we just took a look at near industrial estate but far from the housing estate so as you see we are using just the prepositions of place and direction right but in all our discussion we didn't touch upon the golf course we have to include whatever is given in the map and if we don't include even one detail we will be penalized that means we didn't look at the question properly right so we have to include the golf course we can say a large golf course and park in the west of the town prevents this area from being available at the site but remember there is no conclusion in writing task one right so you will simply paraphrase provide an overview and give two detailed paragraphs both of which should have different information they should be different from each other okay now you can see there is another question based on the comparison of maps which shows an island before and after the construction of some tourist facilities summarize the information by selecting and reporting the information make comparisons wherever relevant now this is a very simple question why because if you see the first one i mean before the tourist facilities started so this place had no habitation so it was just an isolated place with trees and forest cover after the tourist facilities were introduced in that area a lot of people started living in there then some commercial uh, facilities like restaurant, reception area and a pier was also set up. There were uh, for tourist attractions, so boat sailing was done and accommodation facilities were also introduced in the island and uh, some infrastructural facilities also were also brought up like a footpath was made, a vehicle track was also made for smooth transport transition from from the uh, to and fro the island another thing that is to be noted is the ecological balance of the area was unchanged so the forest cover the trees that were there in this part are here and in this part they are again here so without changing the ecological balance the tourist facilities were introduced in the area right so this is something worth noticing second thing that you can notice is this part 
So there was not much of development in the eastern part of the island or, or maybe the eastern and the western part of the island, the extreme eastern and western part of the island, right? So this is how you take a look. So maybe in the first paragraph, you talk about this part and in the second, second detailed paragraph, you talk about this. So I hope this lesson was helpful to you. Do come up with your questions in the comments. Let me know if you have any queries and questions. I will be able to answer them. I'll come up with the next lesson very soon. Till then, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.